What up, fam bam? Welcome back to Kill Hut 702's Adventures and Explorations. Today, going on a little bit of a hike. Um, wait till you see what we check out. Freaking awesome. So, we're gonna be on our way up there. Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument was established in 1907 by Theodore Roosevelt to protect the prehistoric material culture of the Mogollon people and others who inhabited this area. The first scientific description of a Pueblo ruin on the upper Gila River was written in 1874 by Henry Weatherby Henshaw of the Willer Geographical Surveys of the Territories of the United States west of the 100th meridian. Alright guys, so we're gonna head up on this trail. We're at the Gila Cliff Dwellings in New Mexico. I think you guys will like this one. Right now we're just crossing over this bridge here. We just started crossing over the little Gila River. Got Tony with me. A little bit of snow on the ground left. Y'all never see me with the face mask on, so here you go. <laughs> kind of weird how you have to wear one on the hiking trail but you gotta respect what they want right we got rangers all around out here too so makes sense better safe than sorry Safety so we're just walking over this bridge we're getting started on the trail carving the canyon Nature formed these steep slopes over thousands of years. It first began with the volcanic eruption. Over time, the spring-fed stream and gravity carved a deep, narrow canyon. Gradually, hollow spaces formed inside the volcanic rock and sandstone cliffs. The Mogollon people made these alcoves their home during the late 1200s, nourished by the area's rich biodiversities. Explosions blasted calderas or craters that later filled in with the sedimentary rock. Faulting produced cracks allowed water to cut canyons. All coves formed through the times of erosion. So that's where we're going, which is up there somewhere. I'm about to find out. I think it might be built into this hill here. So let's keep heading down the trail and uh, let's get on up there. Crossing in a little stream here. Got a little bit of water flow. I don't know, it's weird. It disappears right there. I don't know where it goes after that. You see how it just ends right there? Where the heck is the water going? Oh, it goes underground. That's crazy. Yeah. Now we gotta stay, stay on the trail. Oh, I'm still on the trail. <laughs> Gila Cliff Dwellings. Let's go. So we're going to go ahead and hike for a bit and uh, we'll see you when we get a little bit closer up there. Pull up my second GoPro. If you carry one and me carry one. I want to be fine. Kind of cool walking next to the river. The stream. Thank you. 
Pretty cool. Please stay on the trail. It looks like something goes back there. A lot of these rocks are falling in. I can understand why they wouldn't want you to go in there. I'm gonna continue in. So it's a little chilly. It's probably like. 56 degrees. We're down. Really? Doesn't feel like it. So I think that's why they put that sign because all these look like they were collapsing. So that makes sense. Alright, we continue on up. point the trail used to go up that way looked like something happened so we're gonna be heading up here you can see one of the little big cave caverns here it's supposed to be all along here so uh, let's keep heading up almost there guys it's right there a little bit more ways to go. Following up these little steps. Oh, you know, we don't get out that often, so a little bit out of breath. But, yep. So, uh, keep going. supposed to be petroglyphs and all kinds of stuff so it'd be pretty cool let me put it in my backpack no I'm good you got a little pocket right here Like handrails, keep them out of there. Yeah. Like on the on the there is. Is there? Right there. I don't know, unless that's just my eyes deceiving me. Looks like there was something in here. Oh, yeah, look. Some kind of foundation. Yeah, look. Pits. Yep, little pits. Something was here too. I'm looking for petroglyphs, but I don't see any in here. Maybe right there, but very light. We came from a trail down here. We came all the way up. It's nice out here. Check this out. Got these canyon walls. Got some little bit of snow. It's pretty cool. Let's keep going. Boots. Right? Yeah, we got some new boots, so I'd be slipping and sliding everywhere. Oh, wow. 
wow. Check this out. That is freaking cool. Wow. Here in a moment, we're going to go on the other side of that and go inside. It was cold till we got in the sun. Now I'm sweating like a pig. Those are the original wooden timbers as well. Been in there forever. 700 years. 700? 700. This is a window kind of thing. Well, here's the stairs to go up. Got another wall there. Smash that like button. Let's go check this place out. Look up these stairs here. A wooden ladder. Wow, dude. This is amazing. Whoa. Up this little ladder. Wow. You see how, how this was all put in with mud and rocks? Where we walked in at. Snapping some pictures. Little thing down here with steps leading down. Big open area up here. This is just insane. A couple of benches. Like another little room or see like all this wood and everything it's all original it's faded since it's painted in here maybe it's maybe rain some of the rain or clouds so Although the sign on the wall in front of you has faded since it was painted 700 years ago, it, it meaning remains. Some modern Puebloan people who claim cultural affiliation with the Magallan interpret similar designs to s symbolize rain or clouds. So they used to be have the symbol across, but it faded away after time. Like you said, 700 years ago these things were built. Looks like... Uh, Tried to block off the entrance to this thing. A little room. A little room. So, reconstructing the path with clay mortar, tree bark, small beams, and large beams. Most beams in the dwellings were cut in the 19, uh, 1280s, sorry. Like all these, all the way from 1280, all these pieces of wood in here. It's pretty amazing. Peek out the window. It's pretty cool, eh? I'm gonna keep on heading over here. Another little window. Another little ladder. Crooked ladder. That one's crooked, huh? <laughs> Alright. Looking out out of the cave towards the trail that we walked up down here. Hey, we're at home. <laughs> We're gonna head on over here to the other side.
where the one room went in where it was blocked off. It was pretty cool. What do you guys think? Let me know. Leave a comment down below. It's pretty cool. Walking by. Another little section of wall. Stairs that go down with a little wooden ladder. Another little window. Hello. Hello, Paco. Hello, Paco. <laughs> you call me, okay, Paco? It's a ladder. I'm not sure what for. Probably look up and over. Oh, there you go. Another little thing down here. Get back down this ladder. <laughs> Over the years, it kind of started deteriorating a little bit. You Another see the wood beams that they built in. Oh wow! Yep. See wood beams in here. It's pretty wild. What's over there? There's a room with a great lookout. Can you imagine living up in the caves, up in the mountains like this? It's pretty crazy. Go back up over here. Oh, another room. You can see they take care of it. You can see the rake marks and everything. That one was another good view out towards the little canyon. Big opening. Back down the ladder. Oh. Little, little room down here. Actually goes around and continues that way. Another little room here. End of trail, return via stairs. So this is the last, last bit of it. The last little room there. So this place is pretty dang cool. Another look out here. Huge openings in these mountains. So not bad. Unfortunately, a lot of these parts are closed off for some reason. Started eroding, stuff like that. But it's been here since the 1280s, so they've done a good job in keeping it here, right? There's a lot of original stuff here. Pretty awesome. And the stairs to go down. We'll go down in a second. Where'd you go? What up, though? You like my new house? <laughs> it's pretty cool. You have air conditioning? It sure feels like it. <laughs> <laughs> that was that view out from this window. <laughs> so that's pretty cool hope you guys enjoyed this uh little hike got to see some pretty cool old ruins uh, definitely worth coming out here for i want to give a big shout out to benji fogs and adventures Y'all go make sure to go check him out. I'm going to leave his link down in the description. 
If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be on these new, uh, new trips for new locations. Every donation to the channel counts and to getting new locations. So big shout out to Benji's Logs and Adventures for helping out. And give him a follow. Like I said, link down in the description. All right, let's start heading out here. So now we gotta head down this ladder. It's gonna be fun. See how I hold the camera doing that. But I didn't see any petroglyphs, did you? No, I didn't. See, like this is cool, but you can see they closed it up so people wouldn't climb up in there. Which makes sense. I think we went that way, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's start heading back down the trail. Oh, this is really cool. Need somebody with a GoPro on their head. Just taking the still shots, click, click. Right. I would, I just don't have the harness for the head or nothing. Now we're gonna go on down this squiggly ladder. <laughs> Woo I'm gonna set up the camera so they don't okay. see me going down. Oh. <laughs> Actually, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna have to go down. So I'll go down halfway and then I'll hand it to you. I'm doing this tricky stuff. Let's do it. Just sturdy? Yeah. I only care if we go down a ladder with one hand. Woohoo! If you can see me on camera. Is that the only ladder? Yeah. Oh, I thought they said there was more than one. Nope, that's it. Return trail, so now we gotta go that way. That's just too cool. Look like that went through a little bit. We didn't even go this far. It didn't go that far too, did it? It did? Just enormous. You can see the black spots, all the water in right there. We were just looking at some over there. Too awesome. We're going to continue down this trail here to head on out. mile in half mile out it doesn't even seem like that really no, it doesn't. real short hike nothing too crazy I'm gonna say rain something uh, you see this went in forward too everything started coming down so they started barring everything up so that good thing look at all these rocks that on this fell be cool to go up there There are rangers everywhere out here, so I don't want to get in trouble. 
Not today. Not today. <laughs> Keep him down. See you guys a little bit further down the trail probably towards the end of the trail unless we run into something cool we'll see you guys in a minute yeah i noticed that too saw muddy from the snow this is the other side of it just, just the cliff side looks like there's a fire that went through here too So it looks like this trail is just gonna come around and go back around this way and down. There's a bridge over there we'll end up at. The sound of that river running down there is pretty nice. Yeah, super peaceful. Very, very peaceful. The next place we go to will have a bigger river. If we end up there, we go check out uh, we're close to Silver City, New Mexico. Might go make another video there. Walk down the old historic downtown. See what happens. We got the rest of the day ahead of us. We'll see you closer down the trail. All right, so we're about almost to the end of the trail. We just got there walking down here. The journey continues. Yeah, so that's where we went in. We went in here and we just kind of went through this side and the ladder brought us down and we walked back up. For a variety of reasons, Magawan families walked away from the cave dwellings in the early 1300s. Though the culture is gone, the story carries on through descendants who are still here. Modern Pueblo peoples trace their ancestry to the Magawan through shared traditions, pottery designs, and beliefs. So that's pretty cool. Our ancestors are still alive. They did not go anywhere. They did not disappear. We're still here. That's pretty cool. Gila Cliff Dwellings National Monument. Look like all we got left is this little bridge here and uh, it's gonna be the end of the trail. That's where the water sunk into the ground there. That's pretty crazy. So there must be water like running right underneath us. Especially with all this snow melting. enjoyed that little trail we're about back to the parking lot appreciate you guys watching the video hanging out like i said leave a comment down below let me know what you think always smash that like button and stay tuned for the next video 
Big shout out to my brother Tony for coming with me once again. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.